It's time for a video! Hey, what's up everybody? It's Payday13 here and today, and welcome back to the park. And the last one we were here, we were about to enter the bumper car ride. And dadgummit, did I hate the bumper cars when I was a kid. Whoa, you're getting sparky. Hello, sparky. What? Ooh, cutscene. What? Oh, shit. Oh! Callum? Oh, that's me? Well, that was pleasant. I really am crazy. Shock therapy. Okay. Can I go ride the bumper cars or something? See anything in the control room, so I guess not. What was it? I'm, I'm crazy. I'm a crazy mother. That's that's who I am. I knew it. I knew it down in my gut. I know. I know. I say I'm not crazy. That means I'm not crazy to myself. But nope. Shock, shock therapy. You know that cures all kind of crazy. Apparently. Why is this on? Incident report. Whoa, what? 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 What's going on? What? Hey, okay, well, I can't move. Okay, now be the time to move. Okay, well, thanks for not running me over. I guess I'm supposed to go that way. Did evil, was that evil hat man driving that? Seriously, I'm here going crazy. Did that really happen, or am I just going crazy? Because apparently I'm, I'm walking through a closed fence right now. Jeez. Don't be afraid. She's on the Ferris wheel, right? It's a of public record that I am a failure as a mother. You might Once, be. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. Sounded like you needed. I'd rather it. die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. Oh my. But instead, my mouth said, "Yes, sheriff." You are freaking me out, girl. Like, I mean, come on. Callum, are you up there? Where are you? Callum! Callum, come out to play. But no, seriously, I mean, why would you leave your... I mean, my parents never left me or my sister in a car. You know, why, why would you even leave your kids sleeping in there? You are... That's a little bad parenting right there. You don't leave them in there, even for a few minutes. Because I've read some stories about kids dying in a car, just for that same reason. Uh, can I still ride? There's no car here. How am I supposed to ride it? Oh, okay. We just hop on some. Hey, Mr. Hatman, where are you? Are you gonna give me a ride? Hello, Mr. Hat. Just shoot by myself. I do like the Ferris wheel though, they're really nice and calming. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna see Mr. Hat in a minute here. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. Don? When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. Who's Don? He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. Aww. It felt like love. It, it felt like, like a love. fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. 
But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. How did he die? According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, oh, and man. then gone. So he died on Sometimes the Ferris wheel. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. Oh, I was three months pregnant with Callan. Fairy tale fucking over. God, I'm going to suffer from depression when this is over because your stories are, you're so depressing, girl. Liven up a little bit. Jeez. Oh my god. Hey, Mr. Hat, are you in the booth? Bet you a 20 you are. Hey, yeah, there he is. You owe me a 20, Mr. Hat. You're very ugly, though. No, you got a fancy suit. All right. So, we just rode on a Ferris wheel that our husband died on. That does say very sad and weird. I don't know what it is. Of course, I didn't even know. I didn't even know she was married. I thought I had my assumptions that the husband just ran out on them or something like that. But no. He died because that's how all loves end. Especially in horror, well, mostly in horror games, that's how they end. How do I get through here? Do I crouch? Sunday. Ooh, a doll. Or a ticket. Whoa, what? Whoa, what the hell? Where'd that come from? Okay. That's one way to get through a down tree. Why not? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What's that? Is this in my map? Where did it go? Am I missing it? Am I really crazy right now? Am I? Oh my god. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Okay. Jeez, I keep feeling like if she's crazy, am I just seeing things? That's why well, I'm wondering. Because I don't want to be crazy. idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. Mm -hmm. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Oh my. Oh my. Alright, I'll be honest with to you. Write this one. Never got around to do it before. Alright, well, let's, we're about to write it. And honestly, I think you are crazy. I don't think you deserve Callum. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. If this was my son, I would smack the shit out of him for just leaving like that and not listening to me. But you are a little crazy. I don't think she needs a son. Mr. Hat, you in there? Hello, Mr. Hat. All right. What do you want? Wait, who? What? 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 What do you mean? What the hell, Mr. Hat? Is that you? I. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis what is this? of what we stand for. What are you doing Where behind me? Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He Why even you have left a hook you a for a hand of breadcrumbs. But the park is it's just like, so It's a fleshy part hungry. hook. Tell me where my son is. Are you my husband, Ron? Which has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. I'm obviously not alone. You're with me. Oh, no. He's leaving. He's leaving. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's that? I'm going crazy. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. My, in a hot, in a, this is where she's giving birth to him? They're rushing through the hospital, right? Okay, okay, I didn't get to read that, but that's okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, calm down, it's just a roller coaster, lady. What the hell? 
Well, here comes another one. Oh, okay, 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 loud, loud. Okay, we're going through doors again. Can you take your dreams? I read that. Okay, through the witch mouth. Oh! 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 Did I just kill Kelm? Oh, what did I do? Oh, was that a flashback or something? Before I gave birth to him? Like while I was in labor with him? Or was that something else? Dude, oh man, Mr. Hat. It works. The calculations and adjustments work. The transport and storage mechanics seems to be flawless. Yay, what a wonderful day. Jeez, lady. What's wrong with you? Oh, what? Whoa, what? Oh, check me out. Oh. Ooh. Oh, she's got an axe on her necklace. Okay, that's pretty cool. Wait, where do I go? I got turned around. Okay. So the witch has my son. The witch. Who's the witch? It's not Mr. Hat. He was telling us the witch. I feel like Mr. Hat, the evil dude, is Ron. The witch awaits. Oh, we need a flashlight to go into the haunted house. That's the witch. Okay. Well, let's take this axe. Can I not pick up... Why can't I pick up the axe? Why Why would you not... Oh, we're going to go get my son, and we're also going to go kill a witch or something like that. Yeah, Callum grab an axe. Bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. You, probably. I've asked him. Demanded, really, to know where he got the marks. Right, he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. Doesn't dare talk. He's been changing, too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, Probably he tosses and crazy. turns and cries like out words do. that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand oh, why. Oh, yeah, close the game, why don't you? How are we going to save him? And what do you mean by there'll be pain? I'm very confused here. Are we going to kill the witch, or are we just going to get him out of here? Hello? Hello? Alright, this is very creepy. I don't like this. I really don't. Ooh, con candy. I want some con candy. Hello, Mr. Clown. Okay, I can't get con candy. Mr. Clown, where's the key? I want con candy. Am I, did I miss something? Was I supposed to pick up something? A what? Oh, newspaper. Okay. Maybe I have to read this. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in Park Ground's mouth. Wow. Is... Who's whispering in my ear? Callum? Callum? Don't you dare whisper in my ear, good sir. Nobody whispers in my ear. Well, that wasn't there before. There, that wasn't here before. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mr. Clown, Clowny, what happened? Poor bastard. Who did this to him? Is he going to jump up and jump scare me? Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. Whoa! Okay. That was a squirrel. That wasn't that scary. It would've been scary if he, like, lunged at me or screamed, but no, that wasn't that bad. What? What's that? Is that a pill bottle? Oh. I gotta take my pills. No wonder I'm crazy. I don't have my pills. Take your pills, girl. Come on, just take them. Whoa. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have taken those. 
Yeah, maybe that was a bad idea. I go out there. Whoa. Okay. Mr. Hat, what's going on? Okay. Bitch, you can't tell me what to do. Well, to go anyway. <laughs> Hello, teddy bears. I ain't gonna touch you. Actually, I am. Okay, that happened. That is weird. What the? Don't touch me. Callum, get back here. You little shit. Callum, I'm Whoa. sorry. Is that her voice? That's a weird voice. Mr. Hat. Oh, you dick. I, you, I was going to tell Mr. Hat to grab him. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, I've got cuts on my... Oh, oh boy, that is oh, gruesome. Oh, I thought I told you not to cut yourself. That's not good for you. Oh, no. I'm passed out. Yep, I'm passed out. Calm's dead. Calm's dead. The witch killed him. What were my pills doing that... If those even... Were those even my pills? You don't take pills at a fairground. Trust me. Even if they say they're yours. Wow. Well, God no. Well, it's still night, so it probably isn't that long. I probably the wasn't out that long. The park is a collage long. of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes, and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here, the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears, while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Oh, yeah. I'm coming for you, witch. I'm coming for you. But, guys, we're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.